Hey, how's it going guys? Today we're going to be playing a good old Blitz game, 5 plus 3. I'm going to be playing it live, as opposed to my game reviews, where I speak about it after I've played the game. Instead it's going to be live commentary, and I'll talk you through my thought process as we play. I play C3 here, just to defend my V pawn, because I don't really want to put a knight on F3 yet. Um, I'd like to decide what I want to do with that. It's a common setup to have the pawn on c3 in these like King's Indian modern defense structures. Um, just because it supports the d-pawn. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm just going to go h4. He doesn't really want to let me play h5 because that's going to open up his king side and we're going to use his pawn as a way to get in to his position by forcing the h file open. The d pawn is very well defended by our c pawn, so his knight and bishop don't do a whole lot. If he goes for e5 to try and challenge our pawn, firstly, we can meet e5 with d5 to kick the knight back, or we can meet e5 just with a normal developing move and let him take us if he wants. So he goes h5, as expected. I'd like to put the knight on g5. However, if we go through f3, then bishop to g5 is kind of annoying. g4, sorry. So I'd like to go through h3. Because bishop g4 can just be met with f3. And we could play f3 now. Although we could also just play knight to um, g5 because that defends, that defends the e-pawn. So I'm going to do that. And so the reason why h4, h5 is good for us now is because it means that the g5 square is accessible to our knight because he can't play h6. And it's defended by our pawn on h4. If he ever tries to play a move like f6 to kick the knight out, then this diagonal will become way too weak. e6 is an odd move. I feel like he's kind of begging us to try and play f4, f5 at some point. But I think we can just develop for now. Play knight d2. I may well be missing something really good, but I'm tempted to play b4, b5, but I don't see the point. I'm going to play bishop e2. Just controlling these squares so the f3, g4 can be played at some point. But he hasn't castled yet, which makes our job a little bit harder. We're not exactly sure what he's going to do. He could play bishop d7 and try and castle queenside. Although then we can probably go with our b4 and b5 plan. Whoa. Knight g4, so bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, we go up a pawn, but then he gets to play e5, opening up a discovery in our queen. We drop the queen back to, say, g3, then he's going to win d4 pawn. And he's also threatening to take our bishop. Hmm. Can we... Hmm. What about if we take the knight, but we don't... We don't take with the queen. We don't take with the queen. And instead... I think this is the right course of action. Because we don't want to give up our dark squared bishop. <laughs> I need to play a little bit quicker, but I want to be accurate. Now, e5 can be met with d5. I kind of like 
the look of B4. I kind of like that. If he moves D5, we're going to lock it. If he goes E5, we're going to lock it. And without this coming with a tempo on our queen, the move E5 isn't very effective because we don't have to let him take us. Whereas previously we did because we had to retreat the queen. We can just push and keep the center locked. His main source of counterplay looks to be move like moves like f5 now. But f5 can probably be met with f3. And b4 I like, just because it keeps b5 as an option. I think our king is quite safe in the center. Although f6 just traps the knight. Oof, okay. Well, let's counterattack his knight. This is probably losing. I might just be getting outplayed here. But... Oh, I had, um... I had Eve... I had, I had D5. I had D5. Damn. D5 was saving it. Uh, okay. Well, we get two pawns for the piece. So, all is not lost. I'm expecting bishop f6. After bishop f6... I need to get this rook into the game. I might even castle. Mm, castling queen side is too risky. Because he can get his queen in this way. Um, I think we have to castle king side. And accept this trade. It's okay. His pieces are still quite cramped up. So there's still play left in the position. Like, these pieces aren't playing. Now, you can also argue that these pieces aren't really playing. But, I feel like we can get them into the game a bit easier than he can get his. Moves like f4, f5 are on the cards. The knight would love to go to e4. To go to f6. But if we play e5, then he's going to play d5 and control it. So that opens up an attack on the queen. I think we should drop back to g3. Keep an eye on this pawn. Keep an eye on this pawn. And step away from the attack. I don't think that's very... Knight there can be met with taking here. And if queen take... Ah, oh, knight there as well. I think we might have to play f4. We could play knight f3. Knight f3, rook h5. And I think he's just going to win the pawn. So I think we have to get a little bit crazy. And his king is still in the center. So we need to try and exploit that ASAP. That's our source of counterplay. Otherwise, we're dead in the water because we're down a piece for two pawns. So, let's make use of our extra pawns. We've got a massive center. Controlling a lot of squares. And if we can get our rooks involved by escorting the pawns, maybe bringing our other one to like E1, then we could... could be okay. <laughs> But time is ticking down, and he takes. I think we want to take with the queen. Because then queen here can't be played, because the knight hangs. So he has to take with the knight, and then his knight's a bit awkward. 
just a little bit. Threatening Rook F8 though. It's annoying. I like this. I'm going to play it. He's trying to open up some space. He might have Queen... Queen to um, H7 threatening. Okay. I'm actually going to drop the queen back because I want to try and open the e-file. If I take with the pawn, I just shut it. If I take with the queen, we trade queens, which I can't really do. I want to play rook to e1. He, he, he can queenside castle now, which solves some of his problems. Still hasn't gone queen h7, but he's not actually mating us, and we do win the piece back. It's probably not good, but yeah, that's a good move from him. Um. Oh no, I've just allowed that. I've got to play quick though. This is not good, not good. Threatening that. Can't stop him from infiltrating. Maybe I can generate enough counterplay of my queen, especially in low time. We're expecting rook h1, king f2. If takes there. Can we take back with the knight? So then the knight can come to e3. Think that's the most logical. Um can we take with the knight? Is he going here? This is not good. I can't really escape back. We're going to take the rook and we're going to pray that we don't get mated. Queen, our queen covers um, b2. Oh my god. Oh, this is not good though. Still might be getting mated. We should be. But he's got no time. And that's mate. With 0.5 seconds. Oh man. Was I winning? I had a defense. I fought this lost to this. But apparently. I survive. Wow. What a game. <laughs> what a game. I wonder. Yeah, e3 I didn't think was great. I should have taken with the queen. But if I do that, then the queens get traded. And I've just completely lost. So I can't take with the queen. Here I could have taken with the king. Bit worried about this, but apparently this is okay. King looks very safe somehow. I've got no checks. Well, I've got this, but that's an easy block. Okay, wow. So here I can take. Oh, and then we get the same thing as before, where um, somehow I survive. Wow. Yeah, and then here I just 
could have repeated, but still losing. Yeah, <clears throat> that's frustrating. That that was a really interesting game, though. Um, didn't end well, but both in time pressure. I think it was right. Wow, I should have taken. But what about this? I just allow it. That's hard to play. That's hard to play. F6. I thought this worked. And then here, here. Yeah, but here I win the piece back. So even though it says minus two, I do win the piece back. Um, that's what I'd missed. And then if the knight retreats, then I can play my knight back to e4 because e4 is now open. And if you retreat straight away, then I can take on e6. And computer says I'm worse, but I'm not down a piece. So e5. Okay, that gets the knight to e4. No, that makes sense. And it and my opponent has to take my knight, because otherwise it's going to retreat to e4. Then I can get in. Ah! Computer just says play down a piece and you're good, but black is so cramped. And I'm winning pawns, I might get a past H pawn. G3. F4, yep. Takes, takes, knight takes. Opponent played well here. And yeah, E4 just locks it down. Knight H3. And if I take it, this is mate eventually interesting but yeah that is a very interesting game i mean i lost the game but i'm not even particularly mad about it like my opponent converted that very well um i don't i don't think i should have expected myself to see the fact that um i can just give the rook up here and be good like that's so difficult to see I did miss Queen F2 as mate, but we also had like two seconds each, so, you know. Can't be mad about it. Interesting game nonetheless, and I did create counterplay, despite being down a piece, so it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, bit of live reaction, and um, I'll see you in the next one.